Good morning, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Wright, and today you are going to be learning the primary colors, and you're going to be painting with shaving cream. So what you're going to need is a paper, doesn't matter what size, some scissors, wax paper, or plastic wrap. You're going to need shaving cream, and you're going to need a plastic baggie and the primary colors. You don't know the primary colors? We can take care of that. There are three primary colors that you need to know. If someone asks if you can make them, you say, heck no. The first primary color you need to know is red. There's no need to dread. The next primary color you need to know is yellow. Once you all know all of them, you'll be mellow. The last primary color is blue. Remember when it comes to primary colors? There are only a few. The primary colors are red, yellow, blue, and now we're through. So, the primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. So what you're going to do is you're going to draw an outline of an object or animal. Remember, an outline is just the outer shape of it. It doesn't have any detail, so it's almost like a shadow. So I went ahead and drew a bunny. So then what you're going to do is you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut out the outline of whatever you drew. Remember, we don't want any details because if you draw any details, they're just going to be covered up with the paint and you don't want to put all that work in and just have it not be able to see it. So, all right, I have it cut out. So then what we're going to do is you're going to take one of the primary colors. It does not matter which one you pick. So I'm just going to head and start with blue. And you just go down here in the corner. You don't need a lot, just a little bit. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do the next color. And you're gonna do that in the other corner. And then you're going to take your shaving cream and you're gonna put it right in between the two colors and squeeze. Mm a handful. You don't want the baggie too full or else it won't work. Then you're going to take your last color and squeeze it right on top. Now, if you don't mind being messy, you can do this in a tray or you, if it's really nice, you can take it outside and do it. Then you're going to close your baggie and you're going to squeeze this until you get those colors mixed together and you have a pattern. You don't want it all to be mixed though. You wanna see some of the white shaving cream. So I went ahead and have one already mixed up. Then what you do is this is when you're gonna be kind of getting a little bit messy. So you wanna have like a wipe or a paper towel on hand. You take your outline shape, you put it in, and then go ahead and close the baggie back up. And what you're going to do is you're going to push that paint and shaving cream on top of that paper. Open it up. And it's kind of like a scavenger hunt trying to find it. <laughs> you're going to pull it out. Be very careful when you pull it out because if it's too wet, it could rip. Then what you're going to do is you're going to put it on the wax paper to dry. As you can see, you can already kind of see some of the pattern. This is when that wipe is, or paper towel is really good to have so that way you can clean off your hand. And then when you're done, what you're going to do is have the dried shaving cream. You're going to knock it off. You can either flick the back of the picture or you can take a ruler and scrape it off. And then when you're done, it will look something like this. All right, I hope you have fun.